Uh, so we can see the uh, first slide, please. Okay, so this is an important one. This is uh, 1948. This is one I thought of all of the stamps. That there's, there are thousands of stamps right. for this day or commemorating veterans, uh, not just in the US, but all over the world. So, you know, where to start? So I want to start with this one from 1948. Uh, this commemorates uh, Moina Michael, who was a University of Georgia professor. She was so inspired by McRae's Flandersfield poem that she actually made silk poppies uh, and sold them to raise money to a disabled veterans. Interesting. I didn't realize it started in the US. Uh, that's right. That's just the weird thing. Right? Right. I, I always thought it was a, a UK I did too. thing, right? Um, but because of her, the red poppy became a symbol of remembrance, not just here, but in, in Europe and the Commonwealth. Right. So, um, you know, we wouldn't be wearing red poppies if it wasn't for her. I've only got a few here. Um, I literally we could spend all day looking at the sounds. Well, I, I know you can. I know, for sure. Right? Yeah, so, <laughs> um, so I want to pull out some, uh, just a few of the uh, ones commemorating the big wars, if you like. So this is the Great War, World War One. This was a stamp that came out in actually uh, 26th of August, 1985, which is kind of an odd date. But that was um, in uh, the annual Veterans of World War One convention in, in Milwaukee. Uh, what so what in, Milwaukee? in Milwaukee, yeah. So a lot of US stamps are actually issued, and the first day of issue of the location is very important. Mm -hmm. um, it's based on you know some event that's going on at the time, right? So they have some significance. A lot of Navy activity in uh, Milwaukee. Is it really? Yeah, because of the uh, shipbuilders there. Oh, okay. Oh, very good. All right. Next, uh, next slide, please. Or near there, I should say. Um, this is a fascinating one. This is actually came out shortly after World War II, uh, 9th May. This is the um, World War II veteran stamps. And back then, the stamps were kind of uh, uniform color. Three cents was always violet. That way, you yeah. know, it was a, sta a standard three cent stamp. You didn't have to guess. Didn't have to guess, no, indeed. Um, and so, yeah, there it is. It's, it features the uh, honorable discharge emblem, um, five stars around it for the Army, Navy, Coast Guard, Marines, Merchant Marines, of course, back then the Air Force was part of the Army, otherwise there'd have been six. Uh, fun fact on this one, the badge of honorable discharge uh, is known as the ruptured duck. And I'm not gonna go into it, it's a fascinating story, it's very long, it has something to do with the actress, Eddie Lamar. Well, we should probably save that for <laughs> the All right, uh, next slide, please. Just a couple left here. This is moving on now into Korea, uh, this came out on the 32nd anniversary of the armistice uh, in uh, 1985. So that celebrates the Korean War veterans. And then the last one, please. Uh, this is Vietnam veterans. And um, so we have the Vietnam service ribbon mm -hmm. uh, there in 1979. And then um, in 1984, they issued a stamp to commemorate the Vietnam veterans memorial. Both of these came out around Veterans Day and obviously Paul showed us the photograph of Angus's presentation. Right, right. So that's a very brief look into some Veterans Day related stamps.